Now, your first alert weather with meteorologist Jeff Tenoyer. Yeah, definitely a wet start out there. Muggy as well. Not a great hair day. Not a great hair day. <laughs> Not a good day to walk the dog this morning either. Just talking about it moving out though. Yeah, and I think we'll make up for it tomorrow. Okay. You know, it's a tough one to start the day when you have a little rain out there in the morning commute. And the last thing you want to do is like get out of bed, brush your teeth, you know, wash your hair, get in the car, and it's like raining. I know, I get it. It's a it's a wet morning commute for areas in Madison right now, and really all locations. But you know, the temperatures have improved. It's around 50 degrees. You can see the wet roads in 565, and just about everybody has some rainfall right now. I'll pause it here on the first alert Doppler, and you can see. Well, maybe not in Fort Payne, a little drier there, but nonetheless, rainfall for just about all locations right now, varying in intensity. Some of the steadier rain in Pulaski. Take a little radar tour for you. Let's start on 59. So this is Eider, Fort Payne, Pisgah. And you can see right now, kind of a scattering of showers, but it doesn't really fill up the radar until you get north up towards Scottsboro, High Top, and also into Long Island. Go back a little bit more to the west. We'll take you through Winchester. This is some steady rain for you. And then it kind of breaks up across Fayetteville and then picks right back up in Elkton and then back towards Lawrenceburg where there's some very steady rain. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some ponding on the roads here. That rainfall stretches south towards Athens, taking 65 into Hartzell, Decatur, and then back to the west, still some more rain. So the shoals, pretty good soaking rain for you. Out towards Cherokee and then south into Russellville, all this rain is moving west to east. So we have about five hours left. Temperatures in the 40s to around 50 degrees. That's a huge improvement. Take you back 48 hours ago on Monday morning. We woke up to temperatures in the teens and 20s. We've come a long way and those temperatures continue to go up from here on out the rest of the week. Once the rain moves out dry in the afternoon, whatever sun we don't get today, we make up for tomorrow. Breezy near 80 sneezing a lot. Pollen will be all over the place. Friday's dry a developing alert for nighttime temperatures before storms come in Friday night will be around 80 degrees. Let's talk about those storms for Friday night. It's a concern. The potential is there for severe weather and certainly some heavy rainfall, and it's not during the day on Friday. Unfortunately, it's a nighttime event. Those are always a bit more difficult. After 8 p.m., showers and thunderstorms will move west to east. Right now, certainly a heavy rain event. The question is how strong and how potent will these storms be as we go into the late night hours, Friday night, into the very early hours on Saturday morning. By the time we get to 5, 6, 7 a.m. on Saturday, Saturday, the back edge of this will already be moving out and therefore much of the day on Saturday will feature dry conditions. The biggest question right now is just how potent those storms will be on Friday night when they race on through. And then we got to concern ourselves with another round of thunderstorms. We don't have a developing alert for it, but for Sunday night into Monday, real good chance of rain, some strong thunderstorms. Once that rain moves out, we'll dry it out for the middle part of next week. But the overall big picture, take a look at those temperatures. Nothing in the way of any real cool downs, lots of 60s, 70s, and even a few days with those 80 degrees.